Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna show you how you could create your very own custom doppelganger virtual background in Zoom video conferencing. What is a doppelganger background? Well, this is what it looks like. All right, well that's that's pretty fun and it's sure to impress your friends. Now this is an awesome background that you could use when maybe you're having happy hour with your friends or maybe you're in class and you wanna make your classmates laugh. I don't know if your teacher's gonna think it's too funny, but if you're the class clown, why not? You could have some fun with it. If it's a serious meeting, this probably isn't the right background to use. Now, it's actually very easy to create this background. It's not as easy as just uploading a static image. It'll take a little bit of work, but it's actually not that hard. So what we're gonna do to create the doppelganger background, well, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can do it. And the first thing that you need is a phone. So you're gonna want a phone that you could record a video with, and that's what we're gonna use to make the background. Now, when you record on your phone, one of the things that you wanna make sure you do is that you record at 1920 by 1080p resolution. That's the highest resolution that Zoom can accept. So why don't we go ahead and do it, and I'll show you step-by-step step how you could create this cool effect. Okay, well I am on my on my phone now and I am recording and I'm gonna use this to record my Zoom background. So what I wanna do as a first step is I wanna position my phone so it'll match the background of my room. So this is where I would typically sit on a call. So I would sit right here at my desk. And so I'm probably gonna be sitting right about here on my call. And so for the doppelganger effect, what I wanna do is I wanna position myself on the left and then on the right, and I'll kind of move back and forth, and maybe I'll go on for about you know 15 or 20 seconds, and then that effect will loop again and again once I'm on the call. So why don't I go ahead and I'll create the effect right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna take this video, I'm gonna load it on my computer, we're gonna bring it into Zoom, and then Let's check out the doppelganger uh, effect. Here I am on my PC now, and what I did is I took the video file that I just recorded on my phone and I placed it on my desktop. It's an MP4 uh, MP4 file recorded at 1920 by 1080p. Here I could go ahead and click on the file. And here you'll see the section that I just recorded where I'm kind of walking around. This will be my virtual background. So what I'm gonna do now is let's jump into a new Zoom meeting. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on a new meeting and this is gonna kick off a new Zoom meeting. And what I wanna do is I wanna turn on my video. Now by default, it's just gonna include the background of my room and this background is not very inspiring so I would much rather use a virtual background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my mouse and next to the video camera image here, there's a carrot icon pointing upwards. I'm gonna click on this and now I'm gonna go to choose virtual background. Let me do that, here I am again and I have all these preset backgrounds, but what I wanna do is I wanna add my custom background. So I'm gonna click on this plus icon right here, add image or video. This is a video file that I recorded, so I'm gonna select add video. You could also do the doppelganger effect with an image, but it's not as fun if it's just an image, so I'm gonna go ahead and add video. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the video file that I transferred onto my desktop, and I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on that, and now this pulls in my new background. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's close this, and now you can see if I'm on a conference call. Uh, hey, buddy. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Uh, oh, Kevin's here, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, good, good to see you. Yeah, glad that there are two of us. Yeah, the lighting's a little different on me, so I might wanna work on the lighting. I, my webcam isn't as good as my phone camera, uh, so my quality's not, whoa, 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 there, there you are. Yeah, you're right over there. Okay, yeah, yeah, just hanging out over there, that's right. Uh, but yeah, my webcam image isn't quite as good as my phone uh, camera, so you see a, a slight difference in quality. Yeah, that's right, yeah, hey man, what's up? Uh, but yeah, so there, there you see the doppelganger image effect. Uh, works pretty cool. It's kind of a fun little uh, party trick that you could do if you're having a happy hour uh, or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, kind of fun. Uh, all right, I'll see you later. All right, well, that was just a really quick example of how you could use the doppelganger effect in a custom virtual background in Zoom video conferencing. Uh, like I said before, it's a fun little party trick that you could do if you're having happy hour. Maybe you wanna you know, make your coworkers laugh by seeing two images of you. 
uh, it's kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, one thing that could get even more trippy if you want to put in the time, uh, if you record your screen with a doppelganger and yourself in the webcam, you can then do, then you could use that video and then place another copy of yourself on top. So you could have three copies of yourself. So you could have two doppelgangers. Uh, kind of gets a little crazy when you go that far. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a, a little bit more uh, humorous than my typical videos, uh, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other topics that you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.